really excited today to share with you the latest update. Let's get into it. Stan, Hello. how are we going? How are you? Very well. So I'm here with Stan from TWD 4x4 in Osborne Park. So um, Stan, do you want to just start with a little overview of who you are and um, then we can get into the, the fun stuff yeah, that you install. Yeah, we started about four years ago uh, here in Perth. Um, so we sort of specialise in um, a bit more custom 4x4 work uh, on newer vehicles. Fantastic. And I'm standing in a room full of wheels and we've got some suspension over there and grills and winches and all sorts of stuff. So obviously there are quite a number of things that you do offer. Why I'm here is, is snorkels. We're here to talk snorkels, which is uh, pretty exciting. Um, I've been on the hunt for a snorkel now since I bought the car sort of uh, last year. So what was it, sort of September, um, getting the next gen. and. Up until this point, I've been looking at sort of more traditional style snorkels, so like your ARBs and your TJMs. With the style of the next gen, how modern it is, um, I, I wanted to look at some other options. So, And there's a few on the market, and I know that uh, you guys do stock ones. We reached out, had a conversation. Um, so maybe you can just talk us about what are we doing to the next gen today? Yeah, absolutely. So we're getting on the bicycle industries. Uh, it's a four inch standard snorkel. Um, so that one's produced, they were manufactured out in Brisbane. Yeah. Um, so an Australian made product. Um, but yeah, the ones that are out there as well. Yeah, it's going to sound cool as well. Um, if you like induction sound, you know, you can't beat that noise of a stainless snorkel. They do sound really, really cool. Uh, and look, the guys will show you the process of how they install it and, and what's involved. And some of you may have questions, sort of, um, you know, noise factor of a stainless snorkel versus your more traditional forward facing, um, sort of your molded snorkels. Um, they are a little bit uh, noisier, but um, yeah, we'll be able to do a test drive as well and show you guys exactly um, what it's like. You know, definitely looks is part of my decision to, to go this way, but it is a rear facing uh, unit. And there are some pros and cons against the rear versus front facing. I won't get into the details too much of that, but it is very minor. You know, your, your ram air effect is where the air comes into the snorkel and obviously, um, you know, the, that denser the air, the more power you can produce. So, but there's a really minor difference in sort of having it rear facing. But you'll get a real insight today into the install process. I've looked after me kindly with, with a great price, but I am paying for today's install. So just to be clear on that as, as well, um, like all the other content, um, we'll take you through the process. I'll give my honest opinions of it, but I'm um, really excited by what I've seen and uh, yeah, pumped to see it on the vehicle. All right, we'll just check out where the magic happens in the workshop. Here at the uh, forecourt, it's looking amazing. So I'm going to go for a bit of a drive with Stan around the block, and we'll be able to listen to the snorkel. But um, it really sets it off. It looks amazing. Basically, so this is the, the washing replacement washer bottle. So it's the alloy one. Um, you have that extension that runs through here, so the pipe and the elbow will come down in here. So it was between this panel and the guard here. So that's oh, okay. Comes out. So that's that's the comes inside, out. Okay. That's the bottle, yeah. 
And it looks like there's still room for a secondary battery if if you want as well. And then, 100%. so yeah, yeah. So there's no there's no impact on, on that. So on that. Yeah. It doesn't use any of the bolts and stuff that they would otherwise use. Yeah. So. so right now you might be asking, how much louder is this than factory? There it is. Uh, nice. go right here. Yep. Doing the, you know it's connected, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's significantly quieter, isn't it? Yeah. So with window up, I mean, I can hear a little bit of noise, but it's certainly not um, going to be an issue driving yeah. on a freeway, for example. So yeah. it's not too loud at all. Just a bit of wind noise. Yeah. I think with my tunes on. We'll hardly hear it on the highway, but uh, if I do want to hear it with the window down, you'll definitely, you'll definitely hear me coming. That's the Whitney sure. Houston cranked up full bolt, <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> Definitely louder than the TJM snorkel I had on the Pajero, so um, you know, if total noise is the thing for you and you need it to be as quiet as possible um, you know that might be the best option for you but you know saying that this thing looks amazing it sounds great and look, induction sound is something I like so and look if I want to hear it I can drop that window down if I want it to be a little bit quieter window up look I'm really happy with how this has turned out um, Stan and his team here um, have done a great job so yeah looking forward to getting this on a few trips stay tuned for those and uh, we'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye.